Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really fun video because I'm going to be giving you a tour of my college dorm room. Um, I go to McGill University and I'm in upper residence, McConnell Hall. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so you walk in and then here's just kind of a first overview of my room. It's pretty small. I have a single. All of the dorms in upper residence, so that one up there, and then that one over there, and then of course mine, all of the rooms are singles. So here's my view. You can see a really pretty building over there. Really nice trees, kind of all of Mont Royal, the dining hall across the way, and yeah, the other residences. So let's get into my room. When you first walk in, on the back of my door, I just have um, this black backpack from Zara and this little purse from Ribbon Outfitters hanging on a hook that came with the room. Uh, and then over directly to the left is kind of my bed area. So I have this little shelf where I have, I have my Polaroid, a plant, a NARS palette of single eyeshadows, my speaker, and then a couple of books that I'm reading, uh, two Rupee Car books, Anna Karenina, and then a couple from Anthropology. And then I have this big, beautiful plant from Ikea right here. And I actually have little fairy lights along this whole shelf to kind of add a cute little touch and then this is also where the lights to my whole bedroom plug in so they plug in there and then I have Christmas lights circling the entire perimeter of my room which is just like my bedroom at home so I really like that a lot I'm considering actually even adding more um, so I think that'd be kind of fun but I really like those lights and then I have my map which you might recognize from videos at home I did ship this all the way to Montreal I don't know what I do without my map I love it so much I love looking at all the countries and it's kind of a staple in my room. It makes it feel a lot more. It makes it feel a lot more like my room at home. My bed is pretty plain. It's just white. I have this really nice, big, fleecy, soft blanket from Brandy Melville. Just a plain white comforter from Target. I have my stuffed animal from Sawyer from Bellingham. Just a little uh, woven throw from IKEA that I just kind of put in the corner, and then just two white pillows. My sheets are actually a set from Target, which are just like a nice little black and white print to add a bit of a pop of something, but it's a pretty simple bed. And then underneath my bed, I have my suitcase and then a little bin full of winter shoes stored. So here's my little bed area right here. And then moving over to this corner of my room, this is where I have my uh, huge, beautiful ficus tree from Ikea that just sits in a white pot on top of my fridge, which don't have much in it right now. We can check just some carrots, some tea, some alcohol, and some butter. Over here is kind of like my kitchen area, I guess you could say. I have like all my food stored here. So we have Triscuits, Cliff Bars, pasta, popcorn, Rice Krispies, detergent, rice, some pots and pans, just kind of the regular necessities. Over here in this little section, I just have like two little magazine racks. The first of which is filled with like some school supplies, some folders, notebook, and then all of these letters that my sister got me that are open one letters for my trip in Montreal. I'm trying to kind of save them, but it's been hard because they're so nice, they're so pretty. So my sister got me all of these letters, so I just keep those stored right there in that section and then in this one i have like all of my legal documents and then just some little notebooks and little things like that on top of this little shelving unit i just have my rice cooker from urban outfitters and my laptop with stickers some of them uh these two are from redbubble if you're interested and then these ones are from places you probably can't get so yeah i love this little corner it's really pretty i like the natural light i get in my room and then over here on my window area, I suppose, I just have these really nice, light, pretty sheer curtains from Ikea. And then two hydro flasks with stickers, of course, just to keep them there. And I just keep my backpack over here in the corner. And then let's move on to my desk area. So, I really like my desk a lot. It's very just personal. It reminds me a lot of home. So let's start over in the corner. For starters, over here... I have this little white um, cardboard organizer box from Ikea, and in the first section I just, ha I just have like pins, a cough drop, just kind of random odds and ends. The second one I keep 
different pens and stuff, and then the biggest one I keep scissors. In the back, I keep my Kat Von D Satan Center palette because it's so big, and then a book for a class that I haven't started reading yet. And then down below, I just have my nail polishes. I, my nails are only ever nude, red, or black, so I just have those. And then I have this little acrylic lipstick organizer of just like my, my top everyday bullet lipsticks. So mostly MAC luster finishes, and then a couple like in the back I have uh, NARS, uh, Anastasia, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Chanel, and YSL. And then I have this little Bite Beauty thing with my favorite mini Bite Beauty lipsticks because I love that formula. I have this really nice mirror from Ikea. It lights up really well, very pretty. And yeah, it's a good solid mirror. Uh, it spins, the other side is more zoomed in. So I like this a lot for doing my makeup and stuff. See my contacts case. And my favorite moisturizer at the moment is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I love it. I use this every single morning, so I just keep that right there. Next to my cup of just all my brushes. I had to leave behind so much makeup and so many brushes from the school because my makeup collection it went from a full set of Alex drawers to just these two drawers here. So, as you can see, it's not super organized, not super great, but I have half my makeup here, and then my other half down in there. And then in my very bottom cupboard, I just keep tampons and then a little bin um, with just kind of like various office supplies and utensils. Moving on to my picture wall, because I just love it so much, I just brought a bunch of pictures from home just from of my family, my childhood, my sister, my times in Minnesota and the mountains and Idaho and just all my memories that I treasure so much and I put them kind of like equally spaced out all along this little part of my wall and I really like how it looks, it just kind of adds some color and they're just really good memories to have and I also brought my elephant chain from Thailand and just hang that on the ceiling there and then over on my desk I kind of have this other section where I have this really pretty hanging plant that I love from Ikea. It's super pretty, I just have it kind of like hanging down over here onto my uh, tape and stapler which match my scissors over there perfectly. That set I got from Poppin which is an online store for like I want to say like $25, $30 for the full set of all three of them so pretty good deal. And then on my bulletin board I have these peace flags from home and then I have these two rows of Polaroids just hanging on clothespins so I'll kind of go through them. We have Julia, we have Audrey, we have Sawyer of course, my best friends. Miss them so much. Sion, we have a little Roy of Brooks. More Julia, more Audrey, more Sawyer. More Sion. Yes. And then over in the very corner, I just have these two um, portrait style pictures that didn't really match with the rest of my thing, but it's of me and my father that I wanted to just kind of keep close by to look at. Pictures are so important for me, they make me feel so much closer to home since I do live so far away. Um, they're probably my favorite part of my room. So I'm going up here to my dresser area. I'll do another little overview. So it's just a four drawer wooden dresser with a mirror on top. All came with the room. So I just have my brush here and then a little um, flower pot full of all my scrunchies. I have a lot, they just kind of sit in there. And then over here I have a jewelry tray that I bought from Amazon with just some hoops some studs. I'm not a huge jewelry person, but I love earrings and I love rings, so I have those and then I have one necklace that I brought. So, pretty simple, just like a nice little white tray. Everything's like white acrylic to match. Moving over, I have a little like dish kind of thing with um, hair ties, like nail clippers, my keys, some American money, some like coins and stuff. So, this is just a good door to have and keep. And then over back here I have just some kind of various toiletry essentials, I suppose. We have daily vitamins, dry shampoo, deodorant, an inhaler, and then I have my glasses. So my two like prescription glasses and then uh, my two sunglasses. So yeah, that's kind of an overview of just my little desk, uh, my little dresser top thing. I guess I'll go into the dresser drawers briefly. So the top drawer is like, I don't know, it's kind of random. I have all my toiletries over on this half of the drawer, so I have like totally various random things like some washcloths and some extra shampoo in the back and then all my contact stuff is here we have like bras and underwear and pajamas also in the top drawer the second drawer down is all of my shirts it's pretty hard to organize when I don't have very much room but I have like my colored shirts here 
and then my white and gray and black shirts like all in here and these are just like t-shirts um, for like just regular t-shirts for the gym dancing working out all that good stuff so there are my shirts almost another one down I have all my pants so it goes from skirts to shorts to jeans to leggings to sweatpants so it's pretty straightforward they're just all my pants and bottoms and stuff and in the very last drawer I have all of my workout stuff and my dance stuff so Yes, just leotards, tights, leggings, sports bras, all that good stuff goes in here. And that is my completed dresser. And then last but not least, let's go into my closet. So my closet's pretty big, pretty high. I can't reach the top shelf unless I stand on something. It has a mirror on the back of it. And yeah, it's that same wood that is the dresser and the desk. So over here, I just have my flip-flops that I shower in. And then my towel over my shower caddy just to kind of keep it... A little more nice looking to go take a shower it has a bunch of eyeliner on it because i didn't take off my makeup before i showered at my last shower so that's good um yeah this mirror is actually a pretty good size it's great we have a lot of mirror mirror space and then in my closet it's a lot bigger than i originally thought so it's hard to fit everything in here because i have a lot of shoes but on the bottom we just have my sneakers my crocs my mocks doc martens and then my laundry hamper with my box of socks right there and then on the shelves in the back, I just kind of have like shoes that are out of season and then like kind of like blankets and things I don't really need. And then hanging up, I just have hung all of my dresses and all of my sweaters and then all of my coats. So my coats are in the back, sweaters are in nice ombre, and then all my dresses are here. They're on these black velvet hangers from Ikea. And then on the very top, my closet also lights up with LEDs. So on the very top of my closet, I have just all of my hoodies and my like big sweatshirts up there. And then in my very top cupboard up here, which is really high, I just have like three little cardboard boxes from Ikea. I can't really like straighten them up because they're too high up, but they just kind of have like extra stuff, office things, school stuff I don't really need. So that remains up there. That is my completed room tour. And if you have any questions about McGill, if you have any questions about my residence, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Au revoir.